My name is Alyssa Pacey and I'm the archivist here at the Cambridge Public Library. I am the first archivist to oversee a collection that's over 125 years old, so it's a very exciting position to be in because um, I'm going back through the collections that have been here for 125 years and adding new collections. This collection here is specifically uh, for Cambridge history, in particular uh, documenting the social and political history of Cambridge. History isn't written by those who wrote books, the, the you know seminal books. Probably in every town in New England we have sort of the seminal 19th century history of Cambridge uh, and it goes all the way back to the founding and you read that book and there are, are huge gaps in the history. It's, it's really important to get other people's voices and other people's perspectives so you don't just have that one view and that's also part of the fun of researching and the fun of writing history is trying to find those voices. I am actively collecting predominantly mid 20th century to the present, uh, specifically those communities that are underrepresented in the collection, so African American community, the immigrant community, uh, activists, feminists, um, social justice organizations. These are the kinds of materials that I'm looking for. So I'm interested in all things Cambridge, and so under that umbrella of Cambridge, what is archivable, um, anything that's unique, one of a kind, rare, uh, photographs, diaries, manuscripts for publication, um, in some instances rare books that are about Cambridge, certain um, pieces of realia or ephemera. Uh, I have a wonderful collection of buttons that have to do with all kinds of Cambridge activities, from activism to rent control to keeping Cambridge green. I don't necessarily spend my days in dusty old books in the back, you know, huddled up. Um, I'm really working with the latest emerging technologies to make these materials available to anybody in the world. Making sure that patrons have access to these materials, which requires systems and databases and backing up and servers and all kinds of things like that. So if you go to the Cambridge Public Library's website and um, go to the Cambridge Room, there are links to the Historic Cambridge newspaper collection, to descriptions of our collections, and uh, our digital files. The hours of the room are listed on the website, and when the room is open, I prop the door open and anybody can come in and take a look around. Those hours don't work for people. They can always email me or call me and we can set up an appointment.